Hi, everybody, and welcome to Early Morning Prayer Request and Devotions. I hope everybody's doing all right today, and I hope everybody had a great July 4th. Hope you had a good time, had good weather where you're at. Um, I know there were some storms came through and everything. Okay, on our prayer request today, Todd was operated on. He has many more surgeries to come. Pray that he'll be okay and get better. Brexton and Braden are better, and Brexton and Braden never got COVID. Uh, Laura, her son, daughter, and two granddaughters all have COVID. Pray they get better. Joy Tucker's dog, George, passed away. Uh, they were best friends. Pray for comfort and peace for her. Uh, Joan had surgery and now can breathe and is in a better hospital with top-notch doctors. They are hoping to keep her alive for as long as they can. Uh, pray that she gets better. And our scripture of the day comes from Romans 12, 1 through 8. Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. For by the grace given me, I say to every one of you, do not think of yourself more highly than you ought, but rather think of yourself with sober judgment in accordance with the faith God has distributed to each of you. For just as each of us has one body with many members, and these members do not all have the same function, so in Christ we, through many, form one body, and each member belongs to all the others. We have different gifts according to the grace given to each of us. If your gift is prophesying, then prophesy in accordance to your faith, with your faith. If it is serving, then serve. If it is teaching, then teach. If it is to encourage, then give encouragement. If it is giving, then give generously. If it is to lend, do it diligently. If it is to show mercy, do it cheerfully. Amen. Okay, and our devotion today is entitled Mimic Jesus. A master of disguise lives in the waters of Indonesia and in the Great Barrier Reef, the Mimic Octopus. Like other octopuses, can change its skin pigment to blend in with its surroundings. This intelligent creature also changes its shape movement pattern and behavior when threatened to mimic such creatures as a venomous lionfish and even deadly sea snakes. Unlike the mimic octopus, believers in Jesus are meant to stand out in the world that surrounds us. We may feel threatened by those who, di who disagree with us and become tempted to blend in so we won't be recognized as followers of Christ. The Apostle Paul, however, urges us to offer our bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God, representing Jesus in every aspect of our lives. Friends or family members may try to pressure us to conform to the patterns of this world, but we can show who we serve by aligning our lives with what we say we believe as God's children. When we obey the scriptures and reflect his loving character, our lives can demonstrate that the rewards of obedience are always greater than any loss. How will you mimic Jesus today? When have you been tempted to become an unrecognizable believer in Jesus? When have you become alienated from family members or friends because you chose to represent Jesus through your words and actions? Loving Jesus, please give me courage and confidence to reflect you to others. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs. In Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a great morning. I'd love to see you later on on morning coffee break. Bye, everyone, and God bless.